Right, managing subjects. shang is losing a lot of autonomy. It'll cost 40 political, no, 50 political power instead of 450. Hey, Trottling! Long time no see indeed. Uh, okay, so production is doing a nice thing. Join wars, state of Xinjiang. Yes. Does that mean that Siam's declared war? Nope. Kind of wish they would, though. And I did say that I'm now in a position to upgrade my aircraft to the 1940 models. I'm going to start with the heavy fighters, because we're still trying to wrestle air control of the skies. Although I may purposefully not finish that research. Then you can do the other one. Let's see if we can... Uh, the fighter upgrade wouldn't do me any good, so never mind. Bad timing too, Mordred started his Wood Elf campaign without the resident Wood Elf expert. Didn't get a chance to watch it yet, but I was super lost without you. I was. I, I was completely lost. This has been a midnight release I'll be playing now. I don't actually know what time it goes live tomorrow. I know it's tomorrow. Uh, usually it's like 3pm GMT. Or 4pm GMT. Let's have a look. Oh mighty steam. If we go and have a look at... Oh, oh waking target. There it is. 14 hours from now, so 12 hours would be 11, so 2, 3 p.m., because I think it's rounding. So yeah, 3 p.m. GMT. The Chinese suffering attrition while fighting in Europe, how the tables have turned. Not a huge amount of attrition, though. Like, Comrade Stalin's doing a fairly decent job of keeping the food and supplies and stuff like that flowing. Siam really is just like, nope, 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 nope. Surrounded as they are by the Indian army and a third of the Chinese army. Sun Li Yen is wounded, oh dear. 90 days, which one were you? You. Oh man, you're the really good. Wow, you're a 5555 now. Why do those move when I select all? I know because it thinks I'm hovering over it. It's just funny. Do I want to replace you temporarily? I think I do. So 90 days from now would be June, July, August, September. So remind me in September to uh, bring Oxamis' general back again, because he is quite a lot better. There it is, local fighter production is done. Then I need to actually adopt those planes before I can get the next one, which I could actually do. I'm only four away. Maybe we will finish before this is done. Especially if I'm not taking a focus. Oh, if I could get this timing done, that would be perfect. Germany has invaded Switzerland. Wow, Germany going all out. They're like, all of Europe are belong to me. Despite the fact that they are out of manpower. Um, right. I need to go to companies. I need to go to Camco Fighter Division. Which means that I can now get the focus for the bombers. Take 70 days. Plus another... 30, maybe? So we might just beat these by, like, two weeks. Do I also have to buy the expansions if the code grant me the expansion whenever it's out? For me, I get it. It's one of the nice... well, it's, it's one of the biggest boons of the job. <laughs> I get free games.
So thanks, Paradox. What do my divisions look like? They're on their way to the 50. I'm at uh, 32 combat width at the moment, but that's just because I don't have the guns to support anyone else. Slowly but surely working our way to it. Just finished the VODs of the last streams. Jolly good. You've basically missed us joining the Allies. <laughs> Japan still hasn't fallen. Quit India movement. India calls for independence have intensified lately. United States stands against fascism. USA is going to join soon, but I think it's... United States is joining now. Pearl Harbor never happened. Well, now I'm going to have the American Navy coming in against the Japanese, because I think the Japanese... No, the Japanese are not in the Axis. Which means the USA probably won't be fighting Japan. Yeah, they're not actually in that fight. Right? Right. How is the Japanese Navy faring? It's lost about 30, 40 ships. Poor old Switzerland. United States joined the Allies. Free France is called the USA. So now are they fighting Japan? Yes. Alright. US Navy, go beat the Japanese so I can invade them, please. With your 308 ships. Am I allied to uh, the communists? No. I just have a um, military access through them. Because we're kind of like besties. They are out of manpower now, at service by requirement. They can get, what, two more? Yeah, all that will serve and then scrape in the barrel. So they can still get another 15% of their population to fight ultimately. They probably still have enough equipment. It's just the manpower that they're out of. I said it was, what, September that he comes back? Does it actually say here that you're injured? It does. Another 58 days. Ugh. Falkenhausen's probably a bit pissed off with me. It's like, I joined your nation so I could join the armies of China and you haven't assigned me to anyone. Oh, and you know what's even more scary, Troddling? I still have a 70% penalty. Where is it? There it is. No, 35% penalty. That's population factor. That's not manpower cap, but still that is a reduction. Probably another million or so. Maybe two. Lend lease from the USA. Ah, that might actually get through now. Oh, jeez, US. These are all ships. I thought these were like troop convoys. All right, so the American Navy is well and truly on its way to Japan. So yes, I would love to accept... Oh man, that, that's a lot of convoys though. Yeah, screw it. I'll make it work. Um, so we have you working on that. If I get any more shipyards, build those. Am I building any more shipyards? No, I'm building basically as far away from there as possible right now. Shanxi is ready to be reduced, but that's going to have to wait... Until I um, have the political power for the bombers. I didn't mind the amber in Wood Elves, actually. <laughs> the 
and they are still attacking. Why are you doing this? Go and punish them, Blues. Oh yeah, you're having absolutely no problems. Reds, are you able to go? The Reds are suffering more resistance because the guys down here still have manpower. So Reds don't attack, just the Blues. <laughs> so we're pushing the Germans back, who are supposed to be the backbone of the Axis. Great. Oh, good grief, America. Yeah, these are my convoys being sunk. Here we go. First naval engagement between the two. Three Japanese carriers with no admiral and no planes. Not sure that's going to go well for you, although they have lost their screens. Well, I, I guess the Americans are currently using their convoys as their screen. So they're using convoys, like, in front of the, uh, the carrier to make sure the carrier can continue attacking stuff. <laughs> right, I can now... I actually have the political power. I'm going to be able to do that without actually having to wait the extra time. So yes, we are going to be able to upgrade the bombers straight away with the 1940 version. Which is awesome, actually. And then after that, I can work on the annexation. There it is. Um, right, first thing I want to do is upgrade to the bomber division. So my tactical bombers now have the extra range and ground attack bonus. Plus the extra reliability, which means I can upgrade them a hell of a lot more. And that will be done from the 1940 version, which is awesome. Um, I mean, next I could just upgrade US stuff. Gives me free dockyards. That's pretty cool. Could also get the consumer goods factories from grain tax. <laughs> Still haven't taken the anti-Japan stuff here. Don't really need the war support. Don't really need to get rid of ineffectual stuff there either. These all result in inflation, which is actually a really bad trade-off. You know what, let's send a mission to the Soviets, because the Soviets have kind of been my best bros since. What does Hard Chenault do in the US section of the tree? It gives you access to Chenault, um, advisor, who seems completely pointless. Where is he? Here he is. So, ground support. Air superiority, plus 10%. Requires higher Chenault focus. My current guy is a plus 10 air superiority. So why would I bother with Chanel? I, I really don't understand that. Oh, big fight. I think this is the American... Nope, that's my convoy. This is my convoy navy. Oh, good grief. Apparently the Soviets decided to follow us when we decided to attack. Um, right. Well done. Let's say... Get to this river next. National Spain's joined the Axis. <laughs> Not a moment too soon. They have a tiny bit of manpower. Are you kidding me? They've gone to all adult serve and still have 45,000 men. Germany! What's happened? Were you that low on manpower already? Mobilization. That's why. They haven't actually mobilized yet. New mechanic. Still getting used to that. So basically, manpower trickles in over time rather than just a appearing.
Yeah, Troddling, I saw you. I decided not to. Already had that discussion with other others yesterday. I forgot you weren't here for that. Gibraltar fell. Actually, how many ships do they have? 23. Well, they could wreak some real havoc in the Mediterranean. Because I'll bet the British Navy is out over here somewhere. Convoys versus submarines. Oh. New icon. Oh, those are... Are these actual naval battle? Oh, because there are so many naval battles going on, I guess. Are these separate engagements within this one? Battle of Iwo Jima. Yeah, these are all separate engagements within the big battle here, I guess. I know that they changed a few things with the Navy. Um, so this is a huge American Navy fighting a very much depleted and completely un-air... Oh no, they do have some air support. Oh no, this is a very large American Navy. They're losing all of their submarines. <laughs> Why am I surprised? I'm not surprised. Oh, look at that. Submarine sucking. Still another 42 days until decent aircraft. Have we run out of forward momentum already, guys? Because if so, that's rather poor. No, we're still going. Just slowly. Uh, how am I doing for aircraft? I have sufficient heavy fighters. So at this point, what I'm going to do... I'm going to go... Is there a way of doing this this way? No, I have to do it from... Oh, I can't use Soviet air bases. Really? I can, they have the little arrow. No, I can't. Well, I was going to say I would send 200 planes to go and support my front line here, but apparently I can't do that. And we have air superiority now anyway. Except here. Um, I might be able to help you with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. Although I'm still going to set up the uh, the fighters. Hang on. I'm going to grab 200. Okay. I'm going to grab another 200. Okay. Both of you. Air superiority. And we're going to assign you to the blues. And if the blues find a way of <laughs> positioning them over here to actually support, fantastic. If not... Can I check whether Turkey has a focus? I'm 90% sure they don't. Although this is expanded. Something feels expanded here. Uh, Iraq, you're another neutral. No, it's the same. So no. I think there'll be a big naval patch where they redo the US focus tree. Probably the US and the UK. Maybe Italy. I believe this DLC was supposed to give navies the death of dishonor treatment. I doubt that it did. It's changed a little bit of stuff here. But otherwise they seem completely unchanged. Like in terms of balance I haven't really seen. Except I did notice that submarines still seem to completely suck. 
12 subs, 48 convoys. How many are you going to sink? Because you should be able to sink a whole bunch of them. They are. Alright, so convoys can intercept, but you saw in the naval battle that submarines still just completely stink. And we'll have a look at the uh, casualties in that in a minute. Naval battle is still ongoing. And over here. Oh no, that's that one. But well, they sank most of them, so yeah, America. Let's stop that lend lease, shall we? They're still saying, no, we're not going to stop selling you guns. How dare you? Um, right, technology. Did I get the planes? No, the planes are still going. I can get a doctrine, though. And it is September 42. I should really be getting you so that I can get the 42 guns. And get some upgrades! I love how Italy is the one really holding this line. Because the Italian units are still really strong. The German units, though, not so much. Oh, we finished all the civilian stuff. Uh, Shanxi is probably going to capitulate to us after this. So we should probably start building in Xinjiang. Let's build 10 there, 10 there. And civilian factories. We'll see what that does. And we're starting to liberate Poland. Meanwhile, Germany. How's your mobilization? Reintegrate Luxembourg and Alsace Lorraine. That's a new focus, I think. After war with France. Gain core in Luxembourg, gain core in Alsace. Okay, so I would say that our offensive here has ended. So stop attacking, regroup, hold the line, and all that other good stuff. That was a silly cutoff. Meanwhile, how are the naval battles against the Japanese coming? They're down to 100 ships. They've lost half of their fleet. I lost all the convoys. Okay, so the convoys still get annihilated. I lost another 52 there. So yeah, I lost a th two thirds of my convoy fleet to those submarines. Iwo oh, Jima's still going on. I want to see the results of it. I want to see just how many submarines were lost. Ah, here we go. Lower autonomy of Shaanxi. Now an integrated puppet and then next level will require 300 political power. So it's 350 political power as opposed to 450 to get the full integration. Plus, you're already building stuff up in their territory, so yes, this is a much better way of doing it. Though Shaanxi is small. That price might well be increased for the others. Nope, still 50 to get to uh, integrated puppet. And the Germans are trying to counterattack and failing. With my <laughs> 1,700 defense skill against their 15 attack. <laughs> Not one step back, guys. If we lose any of these battles. Oh, boy. <laughs> 1,400 against 15. Uh, the Chinese aren't even in this fight. Wow, the German army is lacking any kind of attack. What the hell, Germany? How's my gun situation? Improving. And here we go, Camco PF-77. We can do an immediate upgrade. Are you the heavy fighter? You are the heavy fighter. Sweet. So let's go ahead and upgrade you. We want full engine.
and then something like that. We still have 72 reliability, which is higher than the uh, the base. Do that. Oh wait, did I just get rid of the good one? Yes. Yes, I did. A stay in. That one goes away. Change to that. And now we need a bunch more aluminium. Uh, okay. Can't really buy any more. Yes, you can. We'll buy one more. And then... Grease. Hmm. Greece may not be the best exporter. I don't want to buy from the UK because convoys. Same with the Dutch. Alright, Malaya. That'll do. And then one oil, which we can definitely get. Whoops. From the Soviets. So we might well want to improve our aluminium output. And we do have a focus for that, so I think we'll probably take that focus. Or we can start building some infrastructure in the correct places. Or we could start doing some extraction tax. Yeah, the template is actually kind of weak. It's still just support artillery, 32 combat with infantry. I want to get this up to a 40, which will mean another whole stack. Another, what are those called? Brigade? These are battalions, right? Yeah. I think. No, that's these are companies. This is the support company. So one more company uh, of infantry. But at the moment, my base defense is 625, plus I have a ridiculous number of modifiers. Uh, tactical bomber has just been upgraded. Let's just go straight on to the tier twos. And that's going to require even more aluminium. Oh, blimey. Uh... <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to start researching destroyers. Because most of those are probably submarines. No, I think I'm just going to get some more output. 